The gentlemen, Jose and Jose. Thank you very much, Leo. Rock hard. We'll break down. Yes, it's match point right now. Welcome to Denver Mobile Dolphins. Legends. Very decisively taking game one. And then again in game two, we'll see if they can extend the series this time around for Rora with the lineup they brought to the table. It's be nice to join with Ingon. Ingon, do you think this lineup will bring Rora a better result and take him to another game? Because your hair is on the line here. Yeah, my hair is on the line, Drusko, though. Early flicker because of the pressure. You know, this is the stuff he couldn't do on a Rome, Carizla, and a Carmilla. Yeah. Like, that's one thing. But we all do know, that because we've seen enough show in the current meta, that it is still difficult. It is still going to be crucial that he's able to find the, you know, the marks that he wants to, the kicks that he wants to in the right direction, especially towards the later portion of this game, because he's also working against a Tigreal who he's been known to really love this season. Uh oh, as like said here, turtles up though. Okay. He's going to take it. Yeah, the Gonic is working on the turtle. Some of the plays will be cast, but again, King Kong will secure that turtle in exchange for Kirk's live. Ember goes in with a penalty zone to bring down Kirk, but Super Friends answers right back with kill onto Renegator, still working onto Brusco as he will fall down and hands him Yue. Now Demon Kite. Can't kill Edward here. They're chasing after him. Will the body of Smith be oh. enough? And I think it is, because Edward will be scot free. Tanky enough with that pass. Just respect the fact that, you know, they could get set on. As long as they play, they know that they also just saw that kick from Rene J. He didn't get the kick he was looking for, but it's available now. Going picking up the Corrosive Scythe for this fight. Half health on the turtle. They're going to get their time. He would cut the realm. King Kong gets the turtle. Drift Destruction will also connect. That was the play that came from Demon Kite. Four blades, but the damage is not going to be enough. Bruce Gold will go. We'll fall down and King Kong with a second skill. Gonna burst out there, and now Renegade has to walk away, being chased by Super Friends. Will he be able to escape as King Kong works on? Woo! And that was a kill onto Edward by King Kong. Fanatic on Philippines just got a whole lot in that exchange for the turtle. Couple kills brings the gold in their favor. King Kong on the hunt? Oh, not even done. They want to go for Doming though, but Doming is pure misery to make push. sure to push King Kong. It's a trade though. Can go ahead, play around once again with this lead they have. It'd be good for them if they can go ahead and grab this next objective. This turtle's up. They've got the space to work with. It looks like they're going to bring everybody here. Demon Kite's still kind of handling that top wave. They're on the top side, but he'll make his way eventually. Nothing even happening just yet. Renegade will take a couple of shots, but he's just going to go ahead and plant himself right there in the face of Super Friends again. It's been all over him majority of this game. So they'll go ahead and get in that positioning. They're going to keep Domeng top side, so he'll join the fight if he wants to. And Demon Kite is just there too. Oh, Yue with the Nether Realm, Fear of Destruction will connect. Edward not on time to get the penalty, so Renergy gets a kick on to Brusco. Steps the blade coming in from Demon Kite, oh, though. Look at Domeng oh, being King worked Kong. on by King Kong. A double kill for King Kong. Kelro also. What? Four members of Aurora went down. Good attempt at trying to escape. Go around everywhere. But Renegade won't get away from that one. Look at this. Fnatic has time to flex their recalls, which, by the way, you can buy because they will get an uncontested Lord. Huge, huge swing, huge momentum boost for the Sonics. Wow. Man, it's at this point, if you're Roro with this kind of lineup, it's almost, you're almost wondering, you know, where do, what do we do here? What can we find? Renegade, he's the guy that tried to get the pick off, like we've said, but I said Cho struggles, Zaman Force. Oh, goes in right away, working on Doming. As Renegade tries to zone them out, here comes Steven Kite though, surveying the scene. Fanatic Onik, gonna play this methodically, gonna wait for the Lord, and eventually burst down and inhibit their turrets, plus the shields have been popped. Fnatic with a 5.3k gold lead, they can easily end this. Go ahead and deal with this Lord. Then Jay jumps in a little bit. Shield are the goal right now for Fnatic. They get the top one, bottom one too. Mid, it goes down as well. Some turrets are still up. A couple poking here from Red Jay on the front side. Spear misery into the wall, but they'll hold on to the base turrets for now, so Rora will keep things together, at least in their base. But they're still struggling, uh, being kind of outpaced everywhere from Fnatic Onik. Yeah, outpaced, literally outset, outmaneuvered. Fnatic just playing out of their minds again. Beautiful setups coming in from Brusco. And prior to that clash, you could forget the time that King Kong and Kelra both have their respective double kills. So it seems like Fnatic isn't bothered by the huge start, amazing start of Aurora for game number three. Now for Aurora, what do you do in this situation? Again, going back to your point a while ago, they have an advantage when it comes to macro because they have the Ling, they have the Moscov, and they still have their inhibitor syntax. They can go for the macro game. Try to create uh, slow pushes, try to create split pushes. Yeah. But Fnatic on it with their mobility, they also know the potential of Aurora that they can do this. That's almost a problem though too because with a snowballed Suyo on the other side, even if you're trying to push like the side lane, you know, with Domeng even, you could kind of just get almost deleted. You know, you got to purify, that's about yeah. it. King Kong can just hunt you down Ooh. and work from there. Whoa! As you were saying, my it goodness. Uh, this is, uh, I guess it was an understatement. You're just, 
to take it out in an instant, man. Instant. That's why Yue also has to pop his Netherrealm right away whenever clashes start because of the potential of the burst. A conceal coming in from Fnatic Onyx onto the bottom lane. They're going to force out the clash here just to get Inhibitor turret. Dominic with Spirit Destruction will connect. They're going to burst out Inhibitor turret. Keller goes in. Edward as well. Zaman Force coming in from Keller as they work on. Oh. Brusco with the setup. Yue again with the Netherrealm. They're going to break down right away. Demon Kaisel not in the picture here as Brusco will fall down as well. Now they're going to go after Yue. King Kong goes after Dominic. Demon Kite is the one left. One second before UA respawns here, and Fnatic has minions. They have the minions. Couple oh. members to defend. Damage Force for Keldra working on the minions before the rest of the Aurora responds. Seven of coming in from Demon Kite. Fnatic just finishing things off, and they will advance and face back into AP Red in the upper bracket finals. We didn't expect this. A sweep against Aurora. Clean. Every single game, from the fastest game to the cleanest game, Fnatic on Philippines. What a performance throughout the series. They're looking like contenders to be champions for season 14, that's for sure, because man, oh man, even that Suyo from King Kong. I mean, I don't know if it's the parent buff here or what, but I know I know his dad's got a smile on his face out there. He's been, his parents have been here supporting them all throughout the season. But just as a team, this is it's hard to find a weak point here with this lineup from Fnatic Onyx. Scary. This version of the Sonics, hungrier, more motivated. And again, you said that they're looking like contenders to take the championship for S14. Yeah. I gotta say, they're looking like contenders to take the champion championship in M6. They're definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with if they get there. Yes. But one thing's for sure, one of them, either them or FK, are gonna sure. end up there for sure, right? Because that's who we're gonna go against. And man, that's gonna be a...